How's it going everybody? My name is Wody and today we're going to be playing... Actually, hold up now. We're not going to be playing any games today. Today, we're going to be talking about games. That's just as interesting. But more specifically, I'm going to be talking about virtual reality games. And maybe not just games, but virtual reality as a topic uh, in a whole. This is just my opinions on it, my experiences with it. You know, what I think about VR and what I hope for VR in the future. You know, as a consumer that's been following along with the advancements in virtual reality. I first heard about virtual reality when the Oculus DK2 happened. Everybody remembers that. I'm pretty sure that's when a lot of people heard about virtual reality. Ever since 2012, I think it was, I was determined to get a head, an, uh, an Oculus. I was determined to get an Oculus when they released. And wouldn't you know it, 2016 rolls by. Oculus is about to release, but then I also heard news about another headset, something I never heard about, an HTC Vive. I was like, what's this? So I was gonna get the Oculus, then the Vive was there. I went with the Vive, even though it was more expensive than the Oculus because of the room scale. At the time of launch, Oculus didn't have room scale. Vive came out and was like, hey, controllers and you can walk around your whole room. And I was all for that, even though I had like a little tiny room at the time. Now, not so much as you can tell from my video. But yeah, Vive comes out. I worked, saved up enough money and bought it along with the PC, obviously, to run it and whatnot. This is my original PC that I had. I used to have an Alienware slowly upgraded. When I was doing research on the Vive, when I found out about it, I was pretty hype about the Oculus, so I'm not gonna just give up on it right away too easily without researching into this other VR headset. One of the games that really made me wanna go for it was Tilt Brush, oddly enough. Tilt Brush, if you don't know, is this art game where you just draw and paint in 3D space. You can walk around it and they have a bunch of brushes and textures. It's an artistic thing. Uh, I'm not the best artist, but it's still fun and it's still like, I remember when I first got it, I spent like all day in that game trying to create just terrible drawings that I had. I think I still have them saved, in fact. That, the, the trailer for that just looked beautiful. They was really well done. That's what the trailer was meant to do, you know? So now in 2018, they've, so many, so many advancements have happened since 2016, since virtual reality first came to the consumer's hands. Since 2016, Oculus put controllers with their headset now and you can technically do room scale. Vive trackers have become a thing. You can put them uh, pretty much on anything. A lot of people just put them on their feet or, you know, external toys. <laughs> I don't know what to call them, They're like external things. They have a whole store and connected to guns so you can have it for VR. Not real guns, obviously, calm down. If I ever got Vive trackers, I was debating it. Uh, I would put them on my feet, but I don't, the only reason I haven't yet is because I don't know how much of a use it would actually be. Sure, it's cool, I can see my feet and I can move my feet and all that, but is it gonna help me though in other games besides like soccer? Like how many games have really implemented it? For the future, you know, it's a thing to hope for. Vive Pro was released. It's headset for the pros. Whatever that means. Basically, it's the price of what the Vive was at launch, and the Vive is now sliced in half. It's like 400 to compete with the Oculus. In fact, the Oculus is at 400, I do believe. And not gonna lie, kind of sick that the price dropped that much in so little time. Back in 2016, I paid 800, and now it's half that price. I'm all for it. I'm all for it because whatever gets it to the consumer's hand. PlayStation has actually re uh, released a VR headset, and that did pretty well, I think. Microsoft even released their own headset and theirs is different. It actually has internal tracking. You don't have to put any base stations up or anything like that. It just does it all, it scans the environment. It's really cool, really high tech. I certainly don't know anything. Oculus Go was even released. Uh, Oculus made a headset that you don't even need to plug into a PC. And I think this is amazing because what I'm hoping for in the future is more people in VR. Uh, one of the main reasons I got back into VR so much is because I watched Ready Player One. If you haven't seen that movie, it's about virtual reality. It's amazing. It's based on a book. I didn't read the book. I like movies. I watched the movie. It just made me go back into it. And now I'm just like hoping for everything in Ready Player One to come to life. And we're actually getting close with the Tesla suit is another VR advancement that's happened recently. They have working models. Uh, the only thing is though that they need to 
make it into consumer products. And they have estimated that sometime in late 2019. Uh, hopefully that's true. Hopefully it's not too expensive because I so desperately want one. They said they want to aim for a price like a console. So 500, 600, something like that. Hopefully they keep that promise. Who knows? I really want to. You can check out videos. Uh, if you just look it up, Tesla suit, the people get early access to it. And they have it at the conventions like CES and whatnot that people try it out and review it there. There's actually a wireless adapter for your HTC Vive headset so that you can connect it with your PC and still have it wireless. Now that, that is the future. But <laughs> the only reason I haven't gotten it is because my computer needs to be upgraded. And the only way to do that currently with this setup is to completely get rid of Wi-Fi, which is not happening, or completely get rid of my Elgato gaming card. That means getting rid of my videos, unless I just did videos like this. But I like doing gaming videos just because I like playing video games and editing them, putting them on YouTube for some reason. Don't know why, don't get paid for it. I just like doing it. That is where the dilemma is. So if I upgrade my motherboard, I also need to upgrade my RAM. I need to upgrade my CPU because I have an outdated motherboard that is DDR3 LG 1150. And I think I need an 1151 with DDR4 RAM. Something else that I haven't really seen too many advancements in uh, is VR gloves. There are companies that are working on it. Uh, I think Vive and HTC themselves working on VR gloves. But I think that was just a rumor. Another thing from the Ready Player One, omnidirectional treadmills, it's so wild. They, they do exist, but they're super expensive. Super expensive, not consumer ready, and they're not even like real treadmills like we see in Ready Player One. Now those do exist, I've seen a video about it. Again, not consumer ready, or at least not consumer affordable. One of my biggest wishes for VR is just to lower the price of everything so they can get in the hand of more people. And of course that'll just happen with time and we'll have to be patient for that. Get to the point where VR is a normal gaming or just social kind of thing. Like imagine a social networking site completely in VR. You could argue that VR chat is just that. You can do whatever in VR, essentially. We have seen bigger companies moving into VR though. Uh, that is shown by Skyrim and Fallout being implemented into VR. Not completely built from the ground up, but implemented into it. And it does work pretty well. I've played Fallout, uh, not Skyrim though. Yeah, yeah, you can leave a comment if you want. I don't care, just like whatever. I haven't really played Skyrim and I barely play Fallout. The whole open world uh, RPG thing doesn't seem to be for me. I like it. It's fun. It looks amazing, especially after upgrading my graphics card. Amazing. I feel like I will get back into it pretty soon. I mean, maybe you guys have been debating to buy a VR headset. I know a lot of my friends <laughs> telling them to get VR headsets and whatnot. Again, that price, that's what always gets people. Now they do have plans now, I, but when I got it, they weren't plans that you could do. I think they can split it up into months, monthly payments. But when I first got the headset, that was not even an option. If you get a VR headset, check out Rec Room. That game, uh, I played a whole bunch. In fact, I lost 75 pounds just because of that game. Well, not just because of that game. I also played other games like Box VR. So complete workout game. That one I got just to work out and it did, it worked. Obviously I lost 75 pounds since watching Ready Player One. Ready Player One was when I got back into VR and I did it pretty regularly. That was, I think in March. So since March to what, November, of 2018, less than a year, I lost 75 pounds because of virtual reality. Rec Room, I play a lot of laser tag in that. You might see me there one day, uh, but I, go, I get into it. Maybe I'll do a video on it one day, who knows? I also play Sairento, Sairento's good. Tote Brush, like I recommended before, that was amazing. I have a whole bunch of VR games, uh, those are the biggest ones that I play. I mean, obviously I played other ones to, in depth, like the gallery, obviously. And, Audio Shield. Audio Shield, I'm kind of upset with what happened. They, they can't stream from YouTube anymore because of YouTube. What was the point of this video? Honestly, I don't know. This is just me rambling on about virtual reality, talking about why I find it interesting and why I think it's cool and why I even gave it the time of day. If something amazing or huge would happen in the VR industry, I would absolutely love it. I really want a Tesla suit. I really want my fingers to be tracked. I want to feel things in virtual reality, all right? I want to feel getting hit. I want to feel getting shot. It's not that serious. It's like little electrical shocks and whatnot. It's really cool. Look it up. It's, it's a whole thing. Uh, that'll be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. Until next time, and until that happens, peace out, guys.